Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. The future of downtown Youngstown's Realty Building will be decided by its owner, though an engineer the city's hoping to hire will decide if it's safe for now. Those were two of the major points coming from today's latest briefing involving the mayor and his staff. In the meantime, little has changed on Central Square six days after a gas explosion. The future of the Realty Building is our top story tonight at 10. Three men were seen this evening inside the fence that now surrounds Youngstown's Realty Building. Two wore vests with FEC on the back and another with a vest reading Engineering Services. Who they represented and what they were doing, we don't know. I can't speculate um, about anything about the investigation that's happened. Earlier in the afternoon, Mayor Tito Brown led a news conference on the situation where it was said that the city hopes to have, by Thursday, an engineering firm to evaluate the building's stability and decide if it's safe for the nearby Doubletree Hotel and Bistro 1907 restaurant to reopen. Finding an engineer has been hard. It's not something that um, not everyone is willing to put their name on. Um, being something you're coming into a situation that's out of your control, there are... Um, there are more unknowns than people in this room. The decision on whether the building will be repaired or demolished will be up to the owner. We're not here to determine, hey, can the building be saved, what repairs are needed, that type of thing. That's not what the owner needs to do that. The mayor is working to get the site cleaned up, but that too has been hard. Some of that we want to make sure it's, it's not compromised because it can be considered evidence. It was also announced the United Way will handle all donations to help everyone affected. So we will assess the needs of those who come to us. We have a staff that has the capacity. We're right here in Youngstown. So if someone's looking for dollars because they're, they're desperate, they will come in, we'll discuss with them. Mayor Brown could give no timetable on anything. No one is still allowed in the building. He's also not sure that corner of downtown will ever be the same. I want to say we're going to get some to back to some sense of normalcy downtown, but I don't think we'll ever get to that point where we won't be able to unsee that location. But we, we may be able to be an opportunity to unite us to say, you know, Youngstown, we don't quit. And we asked about the fact that the contract given to Greenheart Companies was a no big contract. The mayor said Ohio law allows for that. No decision has been made about where the June 14th Simply Slavic Festival will be held. So there's a chance it could go to Wien Park. And Chase Bank, whose downtown branch was destroyed in the explosion, plans to put up a mobile pod and ATM machine in the Cavelli Center parking lot in the next couple of weeks. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.